Whoops. Oh, good. I am recording. Okay. So it looks like there's been some work on the irrigation pump as of recently. I just wanted to come over here and, and show you this pond so you can hear the water. So here I am at the end of the pasture that wasn't fenced that I walked up to. I'm not really sure if the property goes beyond that. I'll have to look at an aerial map, but you can just hear it. You hear it? Rushing. And it's like rushing behind those blackberries. And you can kind of see it in the grass, um, just movement. There, see the water? It's just strange that you can't see what's going on. But anyway, the irrigation to that pond. And then I imagine she's pulling the water out of the pond, which is fine. I just, from there, can't really tell where the water pipe is to irrigate the pasture. I was thinking it was flood irrigated, but now I'm not sure. Okay. So she's got power on the, she's got it. So it's not trenched. It's, I would say that you probably want to negotiate that. Uh, I don't know. I don't know because if that's something that's just temporary for the summer, I don't know. But the power line is just laying on the ground. So I don't think that's very safe, probably. Horses and such. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to start this back up so that you could see what I was hearing. Um, and I'll pause this again. Just wanted to show you the size of this apple tree. And, um, Sunny Valley and Graves Creek has a lot of history. You know, obviously Placer Road, that's because uh, back in the 1850s we were flooded with the gold rush. Um, lots of Dodge Dooleys, lots of farm vehicles out here. So I'm going into the house, smells good, carpet, uh, these cellulose tile ceilings, you might, I don't know if you'd like those or not, some people don't, um, very clean tile floors, the kitchen is right off to the right, it's a neat old stove, she's quite tidy. Very nice. And then from the outside, it's a great big mud room. Water heater, washer dryer, cute old fashioned pantry. Oh, back to that. So lots of, of cupboard space. Um, so for your food storage, if this wasn't adequate storage, but, um, Country cute. This is wood paneling painted over. This is vinyl in the guest bedroom. Double pane vinyl windows. That's good. Um, let's see what the closet looks like in the guest room. Closet's deep. Deeper than expected with organizers. Okay. And you uh, linen closet outside of the bathroom. Really dig the wood accents in this bathroom. Very clean. Uh, vinyl tub shower enclosure. Nice window to let in light. And a vent, which is very, very important with, whoops, bathrooms. Um, looks like the air intake. So I imagine, oh yeah, I saw that. There was a newer air handler outside. So... Do not, oh, there we go. Master bedroom is very small. Because this bed, this furniture, oh boy, what would I guess? Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve to fifteen feet by three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve by twelve or twelve by fifteen. And, oh, very tidy. Okay, so one bedroom, two bedrooms. So two bedroom, one bath. Okay. Now how do we get outside? I guess that's through the utility room. Let's go out here. Oh, hi. Hi, little dog. Let me, thank you for letting me just come through your house. You're an old girl, huh? Yeah. Okay. 
Beautiful covered deck. Shut this door. With concrete, here's a, a gate for access. Concrete pad, nice sitting area. So back to this, I was gonna say tack room. It might, oh, she got locked. I left the key up at front. Anyhow, um, I think aside, for, I mean, so this will be space for your workshops. I'm not gonna go back and get the key. I think aside from the small bedrooms, the roof looks good. That roof is older. This one looks really good. Uh, that's basically the small bedrooms is what I'm concerned about. If it's sufficient for you guys. Um, what's not to love about this setting, really? So, are you into canning? Lots of fruit. And little tool shed. So I know you have your hobbies. Okay, I guess that's, that's it. I think I'll let you see the video before I make the determination that you should drive up from Utah. And, uh, but thank you for sending me out here. I think it's definitely got potential. And she collects those little dogs. There's some kind of form of Chihuahua, I think. Okay. I would probably be con yeah, you'd want to have the septic inspected here. Okay. Just because of the there's not much room to play with for repair area. And then the age of the home. I think that would be my one thing other than the small bedrooms. Okay, that's it.